Today is a special training. Today's a special one because we're almost at the end of 2022. Crazy, right? Feels crazy. This year has just whew, zoomed by. And so I would love to know how you're feeling about this year. Like, how are you feeling about it? Because now, December, it's a really, really good time. It's a really good time to do a review of the last 12 months, right? What worked, what didn't work? What is the overall kind of general sense that you have of how 2022 has gone for you and your business? What does 2022, when you think about it, is there one word that comes up? Yeah, is there one word that comes up? So, you know, whether you're feeling burnt out or not, I want for you to really end this year feeling positive and motivated, okay? So that is what today is all about. And, you know, I hope that you are feeling proud of yourself for another year in your yoga business. And, you know, perhaps this has been the year that you started your business, okay? So high five, you know, that first chapter is not always easy, right? There's a lot to learn. Yeah, there's a lot to learn. That's why we have Yogi Pranar Launchpad. That's the program if you're starting from scratch, like from the beginning, because we all need help and support. Like no matter where we are in our business, we need that. And you know, maybe it's your second or third year, okay, and you're making headway, but still, you know, you might not be getting the sales that, that you want to get. And perhaps, you know, there's a, a, a chance now for you to focus or a an opportunity to you know change direction maybe that's what's on the cards for you as you come into 2023 and you know, I know that many of you do feel a little bit burnt out, like coming to the end of the year, it's natural to feel like that. There's been a lot going on, right? There's been a lot going on and maybe you're yet to make this transition from the drop-in class, okay? Perhaps you're teaching in yoga studios or you're trying to fill um, your community hall classes that you've set up or maybe, you know, you're working hard to get people into your Zoom classes and you haven't yet made that transition to go beyond those drop or that drop in class model. And of course, you know, that keeps you in the loop of trading your time for money, right? That's that money, that's that loop, isn't it? Trading your time for money all the time. And of course, you know, as online yogipreneurs, which is what you are, you know, we have this bigger opportunity that's there, you know, to take yourself or to move away from that trading your time for money model and to really start exploring, to really start exploring, you know, what it might look like to offer other online offerings that aren't just that Zoom class. 2023, you know, it's a good time to make that transition if you haven't already. And, you know, that's what the Profitable Yoga Teacher is all about. Some of you are in that, in that program with us. You know, it's what it's all about, like supporting you to gain the knowledge and the strategies and the mindset, right? The really important part to create an, and launch online offerings such as memberships and online courses. And, you know, to thrive in this online space, we need to be thinking in that way, right? We need to be looking at what the business model is that we have right now. What business model are we operating in? And is it limiting us? Do we need to shift and look at other business models, have other verticals in our business to bring in additional revenue? And so as I said, now, December 2022, like now is a great time to review, right? To review what's happened this year and to pick ourselves back up again, like if we're feeling burnt out and to really recognize and understand why we feel that way, like why we feel burnt out. And maybe burnt out is a bit of a, is a little bit of drama, you know, it's a bit extreme as a word, but perhaps you're just feeling tired, wiped out, exhausted. So, 
you know, if you are feeling knackered, let's use that word, <laughs> then, you know, another year of feeling like that as a yoga teacher is not sustainable. Like that's not where we want to be, right? And even if you're not feeling that yourself, I'm sure you recognize it with some of your friends, your yoga teacher friends in the space. And it's not where we want to be. It's not sustainable. And so, you know, change must be on the horizon, right? Change can be your friend, like everything changes, right? Everything's always changing, change is inevitable. And so it's up to us to really embrace it and to, and to see where our gaps are and deficiencies in knowledge, right? In knowledge. And, you know, that's, that's no negative reflection on you or any of us because we didn't, we didn't wake up one day with all of this marketing and business knowledge, did we? We weren't born with it. So, you know, it's up to us to take responsibility as a business owner because we do have to wear all the hats. And that's the reality. But where are our gaps? And where do we need to fill those gaps so that we can embrace the change that needs to happen with a greater degree of sophistication, really. And so everything can be learned, can't it? Everything, we can learn everything. Everything is there. Every single thing that we need to know is available to us. You know, if we choose to receive it and embrace this change that's ahead. And so our own, you know, it's, it's the reality really, but it's, it's up to us as business owners to be responsible for that so that burnout is no longer an option. That is not what I want for you in 2023. You know, thriving is the word, right? Thriving, thriving, <laughs> thriving is the word for 2023. You know, that's the word that we are striving for. Thriving is what we are striving for, okay? not surviving, we want to be thriving. So today, I really want to encourage you to, first of all, review your year. Okay, who's already done this? Has anyone done this? It's a great exercise, and it's something that I would love for each and every one of you listening to this today to do. So really, you know, when you finish listening to me today, I want you to open your calendar up and decide over the next few days, even today if you have the time, to just put together, you know, to just set aside even an hour or two to do this work. Look back on 2022 and review it. Yeah, review it. That's your exercise. That's your bit of homework. And you know, I'm actually going to be running a masterclass for you guys in the new year, okay, on goal setting. Okay, so you'll be able to come and join me for that. It's a free masterclass. There'll be more details coming very soon. But that's a, that's a, a workshop, really, on goal setting and planning for 2023. So I want you to prepare for that now by doing a review of this last year of 2022. And then when you join me in the masterclass, you're gonna be a little step ahead than everyone else who's missed this training today. So, so yes, do that. It's a really important piece of work. Like how can we plan ahead if we don't know what worked and what didn't work? And not only that, celebrate yourself guys when you do this work it's not just about looking at all the things that didn't work out which are never failures they're only lessons but actually to celebrate the wins right the big or big and small wins yeah the wins you need to celebrate these things please please do and you know, if you are feeling burnt out, I want you to I want to remind you to rest, right? Super important. Yeah, it's important to notice when you're getting to this point of burnout. And you know, I mean it doesn't have to be that dramatic, but exhausted or knackered, right? Tired, wiped out, whatever it is that you're feeling. But it's important to notice when you're getting to that point you know you can kind of see it coming up and then just commit when you see that happening be a step ahead like don't get to that point where it's just complete burnout 
notice what happens, right? And then commit to stepping away from your business when you feel like you're approaching that point. Remember that you're the boss here. You're not in your nine to five anymore, right? This, unless this yoga teaching is a little bit of a side hustle next to your nine to five, but if you've made that transition, then you're the boss, you call the shots. Take a rest and then come back to it after a rest, okay? Take a holiday and then come back to it. And you're actually gonna be more productive and you're gonna be more focused than just trying to like push on through. Like this has been a huge lesson for me. So I'm really speaking from experience here when I say this, but like knowing when to rest and not just push, okay? Because you know, you don't wanna let anyone down or you don't wanna change schedules and so on, okay? So look yourself in the mirror and remind yourself that you're the boss. <laughs> and you know, you make your own hours, like you get to call the shots because you do and you deserve to step away when you need to. Like you don't always have to be on, 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 okay? You have to, you don't always have to keep up with every single commitment, okay? Your mental health, your energy is one of the most important things when you're running your business, okay? So now we're coming to the end of the year, as well as doing our review and taking a few steps to feel positive and motivated before we start the new year, which I'm going to go through in a moment, now is actually also a good time to rest, yeah, and to take that time out. Um, and to re-collaborate because 2023 is going to be an epic year for you. So you need your energy, right? You need your energy. You need to feel energized, yeah? Maybe book in a massage for yourself, whatever it is, but do something for you, especially if you're feeling burnt out, but also do something to, for you to celebrate your wins from this last year. Okay, are we all with me? Are we in agreement on this? We're doing a review, yeah, and we're gonna do something to celebrate our wins and maybe take a rest, a day, whatever it has to be, a massage, whatever it has to be, to, to, to rest and re-collaborate, yeah, and just digest. We've gotta let it land, haven't we? We've gotta let the year land, yeah, and just feel like, okay, this is what's happened this year, good or bad, whatever, it is, whatever it's been, okay? But we're moving into 2023 and it's gonna be an epic year. So what I really wanna to share today is how you can end this year feeling positive and motivated. Yeah, are we up for that? And, you know, a burnt out soul will struggle to feel positive and motivated, okay? So that is why the rest piece is, is super important. Um, so what I want to do is I want to share three tips with you for ending the year feeling positive and motivated. Are we all good? Those of you in the Facebook group seems to have frozen for a moment. So hopefully you can still see me and hear me okay. Um, yeah, lots of emojis coming through now. Brilliant. It's always a little bit slow, Facebook. They need to fix that. Okay, so... Tip number one, the first tip is to come back to your purpose, okay? Someone mentioned that a moment ago. Come back to your purpose, like why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Tell me, tell me in the comment box. Come on, let's make it interactive, I want to know. Why are you doing this? Yeah, so it's not just about the people that you want to serve, is it? It's also about you. It's also about you. Like, why did you start your business in the first place? Yeah, is it for more freedom? Possibly, especially if you're online, you're wanting to grow online. Usually it's because there's a lot of freedom that, be, that can be gained by going online to make the work, to make a better world. Yeah, online we get to reach way more people than just teaching in our in our local studio, okay? So we get to extend our message further and wider. Money and freedom, yeah. We get to scale our offerings, to sell more to more people. 
Yeah, we get to, what else, what else, what else? Be more flexible in how we run our day. Why did you start your business in the first place? And you might have multiple reasons, but you need to know this, right? You need to know what these are. Like, what are these reasons? Because without that strong why and without feeling super connected to your purpose and that why, you know, it's going to be really hard to stay positive. You know, when shit hits the fan, <laughs> yeah, which it often does, it's going, to be, it's going to be challenging. And, you know, your purpose is really connected to this bigger vision that you have. You know, it's really connected to that. And, you know, the change that you want to see in your students' lives, but also in your, in your own lives. So what is the end goal? Really think about this. And it's a great time to kind of come back to it because chances are you probably thought you know, some noisy traffic going past one second. Chances are you probably thought about this at the beginning of the year. Come back to it now, especially when you're doing that review. Come back to your purpose. Journal on it. You know, go in deep. Pull back a few more layers. What is the end goal? Like, what is that thing that you're working towards? You know, it's super important to stay connected to this as this is what's gonna help you to, you know, stay motivated. Like on those days when you wanna throw in the towel and everything is feeling too much and, and those days are normal, right? We all have them. Your purpose needs to be super clear. So, you know, often, most of the time, nine times out of 10, like your purpose, is connected to solving a problem that people have. Yeah, it's this, it's this transformation that you want to be able to support people with. You know, wanting to make a bigger impact in the world. You know, all of these things. And it's, it's amazing that you get to be able to do that. It's that word again, isn't it? You get to be able to do it. Isn't that cool? You, know, you get to be able to work on these offerings that get people those results. So what are you doing to, to have that impact in people's lives. Like get really clear and then keep coming back to it. You know, when you keep coming back to it, it's gonna allow you to remain positive and, and motivated in, in achieving that, that purpose and really working towards it. So the second tip is really about support, right? Support. We're talking about feeling positive, ending the year feeling positive and motivated, not burnt out, not overwhelmed. Let's move that aside and focus on how we can finish 2022 feeling positive, inspired and motivated to make 2023 that epic year that you really want to have in your business. So this second tip is about support. Do you feel supported in your business? Tell me. Tell me, do you feel supported in your business? Because as business owners, you can feel very lonely, right? I'm sure you can resonate with that. I know in the early years of my business, it felt lonely and super lonely. You know, we leave the nine to five where, you know, you're probably in an office full of people or in, you know, last few years, a Zoom room <laughs> with your colleagues and then, there we are at home with our laptop, you know, trying to suss out all of this stuff on our own. And there's no one there to ask anything. There's no one there to direct us or bounce ideas with. And it can feel very, very lonely. So it feels lonely until you get support from a community, until you get support from mentors. And this really is a necessity, right? It's a necessity having support for you to succeed. It truly is a necessity. And so we need to be around people, right? That's what we need as human beings. We need connection, right? We need connection. We need to be part of community. We need to be around others specifically who are on that same journey as us. Yeah, who are on the same journey, but also people who are a few steps ahead. So they are the mentors and the coaches that you have in your life. This is what keeps us motivated, it keeps us positive about what we're working on, right? And to know that we are, you know, heading in the right direction. And 
you know, when you're part of a like-minded community like that, it's easy to stay on track. It's easy to stay on the path, you know? And so, you know, when we're not in a community like that, it can be easy to look around, right? Especially on social media, we all do this, and feel like everyone else is smashing it online except for us. And you know, everybody else has got their business and it's just running itself in the background without any effort. Of course it can feel like that. You know, when you're trying to do this on your own and you're looking at everyone else on social media, imposter syndrome then starts to really creep in. And what you're not seeing are the challenges, right? The sweat and the tears, the years of cons consistently showing up, yeah? On those bad days, even on the bad days. And even when you haven't got a clue about what you're doing, it can be really easy to think that you're the only one who doesn't have it figured out when you are not part of a community. Yeah, our minds go off in all of those d different directions that I just outlined there. You know, when you're not part of something, it's so easy to think everyone else knows what they're doing. And little old me over here on my own, I just haven't got a clue. <laughs> Tell me if this resonates. So it's important, right? In order to feel positive, to feel motivated, it's so, so important to join a community of like-minded yoga teachers, you know, that are on the same path, the same journey. Like it's an absolute game changer. Yeah, because suddenly, you hear, you hear the same struggles, right, that you're having, and you hear the same challenges that you're working through to overcome, and so you no longer feel alone, right? You see that, oh, okay, it's not just me going through this, right? Everyone else is going through the same thing, and together we can work this out, and we can support each other, and we can pick each other up. I mean, this is what I love about this community that you're a part of. This is what I love about the Profitable Yoga Teacher community, about the Yogipreneur Launchpad community, the teachers in there supporting one another and lifting each other up, right? There's magic, there's real magic in it. And so you're not on your own. Like when you have that community, you realize I'm not on my own here. We're all figuring this out. Yeah, we're all figuring this out. And you realize that what you're seeing on social media is just, is, is just surface level. So there's something really magical about that. And I know from my own experience, because I'm also in containers, like I'm also in masterminds and in coaching groups with other business owners, other online course creators that are at the same stage in their journey that I'm at. You know, and so I, and I'll continue with that because I know I thrive when I'm in that, that space. And so there's something really magical about having people around you that you can have those conversations with. Like if you need to vent about something, there's people there who understand it. Like it's not just venting to your partner who's potentially in the nine to five still and they don't really understand it. Like they try, you know, our poor partners <laughs> and friends, they try, but there's just something very, very different about actually being able to have those conversations with people who get it and who truly understand. And you can troubleshoot and, and so on, like you can help each other. And so taking this a step further, Taking this a step further is getting support from a coach or mentor, right? Being inside a program, a container, where you're in that community learning together. So whatever it is, yeah, whatever it is, you know, being in a community, going through a framework can really help you to identify the blind spots, you know, and see where you're doing things right, see where you're not doing things right, and you can do things better. So what's the alternative? Like the alternative is trying to like work everything out yourself, piece all the information that you're finding on Google, piece it all together on your own. That can be overwhelming. It can be 
slow and it stops us from feeling positive. It stops us from feeling motivated when we feel like we're going really slow. Yeah, when we feel like we're not making progress, motivation can just go like out the window, right? So you can only really figure out so much on your own, yeah? So that's my second tip for you in order to ensure that you finish up this year and you start 2023 feeling positive and motivated is to surround yourself with community. And of course, we have an incredible free community inside the Profitable Yoga, sorry, inside Digital Yoga Academy, okay? We have 18,000 yoga teachers and counting <laughs> inside the yoga teacher marketing community in Facebook. So get in there, guys, like get in there. And I invite you to get in there now, like finish this year, end 2022, feeling positive and motivated by surrounding yourself inside that community and ask questions. Ask a question, yeah, get some support and use the community because it's there like that peer-to-peer -peer su support is magical as i said and if you want further support you can come inside one of our private communities inside one of our programs okay and we have a program for wherever you are in your business journey whatever stage you're at we have a program for you so that's tip number two that's tip number two and the final tip just check my notes, <laughs> it's gone out of my head. <laughs> the final tip is to use this time, yeah, is to use this time to, uh, which could be downtime, okay, this month, this month of December, but to use this time to get intentional, to get really intentional about your business. And as I said, I am hosting a free masterclass for you guys in the new year. Um, in the first week of January, also on the full moon. <laughs> and more info to come on that. But if you know when the full moon is, you'll know when it is. <laughs> but get a head start on this and do some work this month to design your business intentionally. Yeah, intentionally. Like, what is the ultimate vision? Yeah, what can you do now to set yourself up for future growth in your business in 2023? Like, what do you want 2023 to look like? Do you have any ideas right now? Do you know what your big goal is for 2023? What's your big goal? Tell me. Tell me, do you have a big goal right now? If you don't, then you really do need to do this work. Yeah, and you need to join me for the masterclass in the new year as well. But get a head start and start to become intentional about this, right? What do you want 2023 to look like? If you don't do this work, it won't happen. Like, it really won't happen, guys. You have to do this work, this planning. What inspires you? What makes you feel excited? What do you want to create in 2023 that, that excites you to the core, right? You're getting excited about this because the vision setting and the planning that you do right now is what's going to help you to shape your business well into the future, right? Not just next year, but well into the future. So, you know, for instance, are there any systems, any systems that you need to put in place? Do you need to hire someone? Okay, maybe a VA, a virtual assistant, yeah, to support you to achieve those goals because you only have, you only have so much time in the day. You only have so much time in the day. And if you have big goals, that are ultimately going to generate more income for you, okay? So that's what your goal should be directed towards, generating more, more income, building community, and building income, revenue, okay? Then there's a trade-off, isn't there, right? There's a trade-off. And the risk that you might feel bringing someone into your team yeah, hands up who feels like this is a risk 
bringing someone in their team into the team because you have to pay for their time of course right you've got to put time sorry you've got to put money on the table to pay for a virtual assistant to come into your team that might be feeling too risky for you right now the only risk is you you are the risk okay i'm coming at you with a little bit of tough love here but it's the reality you're the risk just you you're the risk like it's only a risk if you do not fully commit to showing up to do the work if you don't do the work and you don't make the money then you don't have the money to pay for the person okay so you're the risk but that's not that scenario isn't what's going to happen in 2023 because you're here listening to this right now so you are committing right you're committing to showing up to planning to creating online offerings to growing your community to being more vis visible to making more connections to getting yourself out there and ultimately sharing yoga Right? That's where we're connected to our purpose. We want to help people. We want to support people. And it requires us to build our authority and to become an expert in our space. We don't have to be the world's best expert, number one expert. We only need to be a few steps ahead, but we need to be visible. Okay, So that's what we need to do in 2023. And when you don't do that, then you're risking. Then there's the risk. Okay, that's the only risk. This is going to be a good year for you, I can feel it. Who's feeling excited about 2023? Who's feeling excited? Those of you who are listening to me week in, week out, I know you're definitely feeling excited. I'm feeling excited for you. Like This is going to be a year where you do different things because we must do something different. Like If you do the same things that you did in 2022, it's going to be the same year, right? It's going to be the same year in 2023. It'll be the same results. So it's about embracing change. It's about looking at where are my gaps? What do I need to learn, right? What do I need to learn now to take this up a notch, to take it up a level? And I know that you can do this. Like That's why you're here in our community. That's what this is all about. This is what we're sharing. This is what we're supporting you with. And so I feel excited for you. Like I know that you are in the right place right now to make 2023 an epic year. Okay, and I'm excited for you. My team are excited for you. Yeah, we get to support you to do this and to help you to share yoga even further around the world and support even more people. So there you have it. Okay, we're no longer feeling burnt out. If you're feeling a little bit like that, exhausted, please take some rest to recollaborate. Use this time now to review this year. Celebrate your wins, big and small, okay? And then do a little bit of groundwork about being intentional for 2023. Make sure you're part of a community. Make sure you've got support and connect to your purpose. And that's it, there's a summary of today's training. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've taken something away with you and look out for all the good stuff that we will be providing to you in the new year. We have a masterclass coming up. The wait list for the Profitable Yoga Teacher program is open. It's for teachers who already have a growing community, okay? So not if you're starting from zero. If you're starting from zero, you need to be in Yogipreneur Launchpad and you can get inside that program straight away. It's open all year round. But the, the Profitable Yoga Teacher is starting again in February, okay? It's the next group. You can get your name on the wait list now. There's, there's more to come, okay? There's more to come in the new year. Lots of opportunities to learn. There's the Yogipreneur podcast. Make sure you're listening week in, week out. Well done for being here and taking the time to learn something new in your business today, guys. I'm so honored that you're here with me. And yeah, I will see you next week. Any questions, please reach out. Okay, lots of love to you all. Thank you so much for being here. See you next week. Bye, guys. Take care. Bye, 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 bye.